Nope, nope, don't do that, don't do that. Keep coming down, nope, don't hit that, don't hit that. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. If you're like that poor sucker uh, who just crashed his Mavic Mini, which was totally not me, totally stock footage, uh, then this video will be helpful for you, especially if you are facing the power system hardware error with the error code 30210. It turns out for me, all I had to do was swap out a motor and so in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I did that. Now, keep in mind, this does involve some soldering and disassembly of your quadcopter, which could void your warranty. And if you're not feeling comfortable with that, don't try it. Basically, if you mess up your quadcopter after watching this video, don't blame me. So I'm going to walk you through the whole process of swapping out the motor and the arm. But first, if you're watching this video, it probably means that you like electronic stuff and probably are willing to do some DIY stuff. In which case, you may want to check out today's sponsor, which is PCB Way. PCB Way makes custom printed circuit boards. That's what PCB stands for. So you can actually design a circuit board layer out, send it to PCB Way, and then they will create that for you. They also offer all kinds of electronic parts, and they can actually assemble all the components with the board so you have a finished product that you get from them. Now maybe you need something that is not a printed circuit board, maybe something like a housing for your electronics part. Well, they also offer rapid prototyping services, which includes 3D printing, injection molding, sheet metal, CNC machining with all kinds of different materials. If that sounds like something you're interested in, go check out PCBWay.com, link down in the description. Now, let's get to fixing this quadcopter. Now, two important things I want to mention. One is that this is the original Mavic Mini, not the DJI Mini or the Mavic Mini 2, uh, wh wh whichever it's called. Also, we are doing the rear motor and arm, which is far easier than the front either of the front arms and motors swapping those out because it involves undoing the transmission antennas so that's a pain so in this one we're just going to cover the rear motor but in another video we'll cover the front motors all right now the first thing i did was power up the drone just like normal and we get this error code now the great thing about dji stuff is it has all kinds of sensors so it gives you diagnostic information um, that's nice. So click on the power system error and then you see it comes up as code 30210 and this is a hardware error. So I'm thinking probably motors or ESC. So a little check just to see if the motors will actually rotate or if they're stuck. And these ones all seem to be pretty good. Now one thing that I did notice was the back right motor did have some damage. Not the actual motor, but the motor mount. And here you can see a close up. So there's a little crack right there and it looks like it's in place, but I'm thinking if there's a damaged motor, that's probably it. So first take off all the propellers, that'll be safer and easier to work with it. And of course, take the battery out. Now there's four screws that we need to take out to get the top cover off. Here's an image of the top cover removed just to show you the spots where some of the trickiest clips are. So you'll wanna get a little tool under there and uh, pop those off. And it can be rather difficult. Um, I would say either start on the back or the front in terms of popping off the top shell. And there are key points, like I pointed out with those arrows, uh, key clips that will, uh, once you pop those out, it'll make getting the rest out very easy. So I kinda went front to back here, but whatever works best for you. I'm, I'm using a razor blade, but you might want to use uh, some sort of a plastic tool that would be uh, probably better so that you don't scratch or damage the plastic. So I'm doing a visual inspection of the ESC board. It all looks good. Um, this this board right here is the ESC for all four motors. Doesn't really look like there's anything burnt or wrong with the wires. So I'm thinking it's probably the motor. So the next thing is going to be 
to take out this motor. So I'm going to remove the three screws in order to actually access the motor. And I could have done this without removing the top plate. Now you can see here this winding on the stator that lines up with the damage area to the shell. Yeah, you can see that's not good. So the the wires uh, somewhere or the wire broke. Uh, so it must have it must have been damaged enough to actually break the wire. In fact, there goes a little piece right there, and you can see that. Yeah, that came off. So that's going to compromise the whole motor. So that motor has got to come out, and we're going to put a fresh one on there. To remove the arm, it's actually very simple. It's just two screws, top and bottom of the arm. Or actually, two screws total, one on the top, one on the bottom. Now it's soldering time. So I'm using my TS-100. Really love this soldering iron. Um, but you don't need a fancy soldering iron. And as long as you have a decently small tip, uh, you'll be fine. So we're just going to remove the three motor wires from this pad right here. And it may take a little bit longer because there's a little uh, like uh, clear sort of lacquer coating on the solder pads. So just kind of either scrape it off or burn through it, and it's just like any other solder job. So now that they're desoldered, we can actually uh, slide the arm off. And if you didn't have a spare arm, you could just swap out the motor, uh, but it's a little tricky trying to thread the, the wires through there. So I'm just going to get a fresh motor and arm from another uh, Mavic Mini. And there's a shot of the arm attachment just to show you what it looks like. And then we'll just thread the wires through there, through the little hole. It can be a little bit tricky. Get some sort of tool to help you uh, kind of point the wires in an upward direction as you, as you thread it through there. Now, when you put the arm on, you want to make sure that you have good rotation. Uh, so you want to put the arm on in the orientation that you took it off and make sure that it rotates fully and locks into place. Now, on the board, you see we have W, B, and R. That's for wet, white, blue, and red. And you want to match up the wires. So that's nice. You don't, have to uh, you don't have to fiddle around with which wire goes where. So tin your wires, add some solder to your wires. And then we're just going to re-solder the wires. White to the W, black to the B. I think I said blue, but black to the B and R to the red. And just make sure that none of the pads are touching each other when you're done soldering. And then we're just going to screw the little screws back into the arm, the top and the bottom. I believe they are the same screws. And then we'll do a little diagnostics check and see if that error code comes up again. So we have the transmitter on, the batteries on in the drone and everything looks good so it's coming up like normal so that's great because uh, we can we don't actually have to do a test fly in order to check the diagnostics but of course we can confirm it with a test flight which we'll do right now boom success Whoa. it's so freaking stable it is that's crazy it is so there we go it's flying it's working good Hopefully this helped you if you crashed your drone. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below or if you have tips for anybody else. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you again very soon.